All right. Guys, oh, we got a Muslim. We're not done yet. Masihi Muslim is here. What's up, Masihi Muslim? Oh, it's uh, we again, we are you are at Trinity. Yeah, I know. That's what you like to talk about because you're scared of Tawheed. I know you're on Hussein's channel, so hopefully we can keep it nice. What about it? Well, uh, uh, Trinity is uh, no mystery. As I said, Trinity is no mystery, simply misunderstood. The and are you a prophet spirit. or messenger? Yes or no? no are you a prophet? I'm, no, I'm not. Are you a messenger? I am. Yeah, I'm someone. Oh, of you a are Sunday, a rasul. Yeah. Are you a rasul, your messenger like Muhammad Rasul? No, I'm a messenger like uh, Paul like and who? the others. No, Paul, like Paul and the others. No, you're Paul and the others were apostles who are higher than prophets and established the church. So you are apostle like Peter, and you're going to establish what church? Uh, well, I'm not establishing any church. I'm just okay, here to so discuss. Let's try this again, my friend. Masihi Muslim. You're wasting my time, honestly. You're saying you're Masihi Muslim. That means you're a Muslim for Jesus. That means you follow Islam. You follow the Quran, right? I follow Jesus. What about Muhammad? Uh, he says uh, in uh, Surah Al Amran 350. So you follow the Quran, right? Yes, I do. Okay, so when I ask you, you follow Muhammad, you go, I follow Jesus. Now you're telling me, yeah, you follow Muhammad too. So you follow the Quran. So are you a Rasul, a messenger like Muhammad? I'm, no, I don't know. Why so are you're you just asking Muslim, me right? these things? Uh, why because you, if you answer, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. So you're just a human. You're not a messenger prophet. So since you're not a prophet messenger, don't try to come and tell us Trinity is misunderstood for 2,000 years until God created you to help us understand. So now go to your objection. So let's have a serious discussion. Don't play games with me. Okay. Uh, uh, if you are trying to be over smart, then uh, there's no sense of talking to you. Go to the question, Nasha. To get to the point, man. My goodness. Get to the point. Uh, and when I said uh, Trinity is no mystery, simply misunderstood. Can you get to the objection? Yes, yes. If you okay, understand, if you, I am right. sharing right, right, something right, with right. you. No, I don't want you to preach. I want you to get the objection. Bring up the objection. Come on. Yes. Trinity is no mystery, simply misunderstood. The Spirit proceeds from the Father. In Christ Jesus, it exhibits, it reveals a relation between God and man that exists. The three are not co-equal, but the three do okay. coexist. Prove it. Prove they're not co-equal. Give me the verse. Well, my father is greater than I. And you think that actually proves your point? You sure about that? Uh, Genesis actually proves my point. No, you went to John 14, 28. Don't do Bible ping pong. Take one verse at a time. So John 14, are you sure that proves your case? Yes. I mean, there are many Please. verses which are there, but Please. let me... Well, let's take one let at a me, time. You want me to get, block you? Get, take one at a time. Go to John 14, 28. Read it for me. Read it for me. I don't have the verse open over here, but... Okay, so you want me to do the reading there, for you? Open, I, open it up for him. Uh, at, hold on. Okay, now, John 14, 28, show it to him. Can you see the screen or no? Yes, I can. It's coming up here. Okay, read it. Read it for yeah. me. Read it for me. You have heard me say to you, I am going away and coming back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said, I am going to the Father. My Father is greater than I. No, reread that last part again. You didn't read it correctly. Read it again. You would rejoice because what? Read the last part again. Me. me, you would rejoice because I said I am going to the Father. For my Father is greater than I. Now, since you can read English, Jesus explained, I'm going to the Father, so be happy, for my Father is greater than I. Explain the connection between those two sentences. Explain it he's for me. Going to the he father. Says, yes, he says, you would be happy that I'm leaving you, not sad, because I'm going to the father for, because, here's the reason, the father is great. And I explain that relationship between those sentences. 
How does one explain the other? Let's see if you know how to do exegesis. The Father is God Almighty. That's and not Jesus what the verse is the perfect man. That's not what it says here. So let's try this again. What's the connection between you should rejoice that I'm leaving you, not sad because I'm going to the Father because the Father is great. What's the connection? You didn't explain it. You just repeated your own, you know, propaganda. Explain the the connection between these sentences because that word for means this is the reason why you should rejoice because when I go to the Father, right, you should be happy because of – explain. I'm still waiting for the explanation. Uh, to explain you this, I'll have to go to Genesis. No, the Genesis so doesn't explain. can have a Genesis, better understanding. Friend, Genesis does not explain John 14, 28. Don't play the game with me. Now I'm going to show you what you don't know. Go to John 17, 5 for our friend here. John 17, 5. Let's see if you can now explain the, these verses together. We'll go to Genesis once I school you here. Now John 17, 5. And now, O oh Father, you read it for us. John 17, 5. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. Okay, you said he's a man and the Father is God Almighty. But this man that you say is just a man said, mm -hmm. Father, glorify me together with yourself. See, when he said, I'm going to the Father. Remember John 14, 28? Let's see if you can remember things and connect things. I'm going to my Father. Here he says, Father, glorify me together with yourself. See, when I go to my Father, I'll be together with him in the glory that I share with him. And this glory I shared with him before the world was. So do you agree with okay. Jesus before the creation of the world? He was there side by side with the Father in the same glory? Yes. You do, okay. So Jesus was there before creation with the Father side by side. Yes. Good. Okay. So now that's the first step. Now you can understand why Jesus says the Father is greater than I. Do you understand what the word greater can and cannot mean? Yes, I do. Okay. Tell now, me. Let me say, well, hold on. Well, don't run. I say I'm greater than my dog and I'm greater than my son. Am I greater than my dog in the same way I'm greater than my son? Of course not. Say it again. It of course not. Two totally different things. Okay, so in what way are you greater than your son? Are you better than him in nature? Better than him in value? Better than him in, in dignity? Uh, he's human and oh, so am I. But, but when you're greater I, than your I dog, what way are you greater than your dog? Well, What way uh, are you greater than your dog? What way am I greater than my dog? Yeah, because you're not uh, greater than your son in nature because he's just as much human as you are. You just said that. So he has the same value, dignity, worth you do. So you cannot be greater than him in nature. So that means you are greater in position and authority, right? Yeah, of course. What about a dog, though? In the eyes of God, when I say you're greater than your dog, am I simply saying you're greater in stat status and authority or you're better than a dog in value and nature and worth? Okay, now you said you my son question. and now you said my... No, I'm I did. I'm answering your question. Yeah, but Don't I did say both. Don't make me a yes or no guy. Don't expect no, no, me I'm to say yes or no. Or no. Okay. I mentioned both. So let me, I'm greater let than me my answer. Son. Greater than answer before. Don't, don't yell at me. I'm answering. Me. Would you let me answer, Shut please? up, you stupid dog. Shut up, you stupid dog. You yell at me. I'm going to insult your prophet. So shut your mouth. Answer like a good little dog. Go ahead. Answer now. Keep yelling. I'm going to muzzle Don't you. use this. Don't go don't ahead. I'm using lying. Quran. Okay, shut up, you dog. I'm quoting Quran, chapter 7, verse 175 to 177. That people like you are dogs and asses. You don't like it? Flush your Quran. Shut up and answer. One more time, second chance. Go ahead. Okay, well, yeah. dog, let me answer. Uh, yeah. now the Quran is not what we are discussing, we are discussing greater. the Bible. One more time, you dog. You bring ass. I'm going to muzzle you in your prophet. Get to the point. 
Greater than my son, greater than the dog. Let's see. Let's see if you're going to answer. Go ahead. You're wasting my time. I'm going to block you to Mecca. Let's see if you're going to answer now. Go ahead. Now, you gave two uh, scenarios, greater than my son and greater to, than my dog. Okay. Now, if my son is not faithful to me, then my dog is greater than my son. Show me the verse okay. in the Bible that says that in the Quran. No, Show I'm just giving you an analogy. In the Bible, just giving you an analogy. Show me in the verse, in the Bible, in the Quran, that just because your son is faithless, he is of more value and worth than your dog. And I agree, my dog is more valuable than you, but that's another story. Give me the verse in the Bible in the Quran. Okay, now let me take you to Genesis. No, give me the verses Genesis. from the Bible and the Quran before I muzzle you again, like Jesus muzzled your prophet that said what you just said. You just didn't get the point. Okay. All right, guys. All right, brethren. Yeah. See how stupid this guy is? All right. Yeah. So I just want you to answer my question. Can uh, you answer depends. the question? I don't, well, I don't know. I don't like you because you sound like an arrogant jerk. So go ahead. Let's see. Because I'm about to ban you for thinking that well, I'm going to pay jizya to you. I don't pay jizya to you or you to your prophet. But go ahead. You don't even understand jizya. But go ahead before I insult Muhammad. So let's see if you respect your prophet. Go ahead, get to the you point. Listen, because someone point. who is not Jesus, Jesus, Jesus saying, "Oh Father, Father, why?" Jesus said, that Father? means he's not God. He. Okay, okay. How can I'll answer your question? You want me to answer? You're gonna bark. Do you believe Jesus said the words that God is the Father? Sure. You believe it? Say it again. Yeah, he he said the father. He's talking about Allah when he says the father. Wait, wait so he when said the father, right? And we got you recorded. Farid Rafa, your name's here. You just proved your Quran is garbage because it says Allah's not the father. So is Allah the father of Jesus? Not his physical father, but Allah oh, is father to physical. everything. Don't change the argument. You just said, when I asked you, we got you recorded. Alhamdul Masih. The God and Judge of Muhammad. You just said, so when Jesus said, Father, so is God the Father? He said, sure, yeah. But your Quran says, Allah is not the Father. He's not your Father, my Father, and Jesus is not his Son. So now can you admit, the words of Jesus you quoted destroyed your Quran and proved your prophet is an antichrist? I just want you to answer the question. Can you admit it? I'll answer your question. You agree no, now because, because you're just said, you're twisting. Real you're said, twisting. You're twisting. You're twisting. The real Jesus said your prophet that's is the son you have of the Jezebel. devil. But your real, the real Jesus said your prophet is the son of the devil because Jesus said God is the father, but your prophet said no. So can you admit that? No, because no, wait, so did Jesus say father, father, yes or no? Yeah, and he's talking about Allah. He did. Oh, and he's not so Allah's your father. So I want you to say. Like Jesus, oh Allah, Allahumma, you are my father. Say it. Allah Say it. is the father of all creation. Allah the is. No. So when Chapter Jesus was confused. The Quran says no. You just said you piss on the Quran. Because in the Quran in chapter 19, verses 88 to 93, says all you are is a slave. Abd. He's not your father. So thank you for now pissing on your Quran. No, he is the father, the ultimate father. The Quran says he's not. So who do I believe, you or your prophet? So you can you explain why Jesus appeals?